So what was this movie that you did that caused all this commotion per se on TMZ? And oh, everything? it was called Dear Frank. Okay. Some of the you, actors in there like Brian Dirk. White, Columbus Short, Little Dirk, uh, Claudia Jordan. It was a film that we did with Dame Dash mm -hmm. originally. He was brought on by another producer and things just didn't really work out with him. You know, he's a little bit of a hothead. So you can have an attitude, you can look stupid, you can say shit. Matter of fact, if she says something, she's fired. Period. Although I was excited to work with him at the time, I can understand why he's had certain downfalls. Ultimately, we went out to the market and released it without him. You know, there was like a very public lawsuit that we saw and you, you won that lawsuit for a good amount of money. For people listening in, this is sort of the, the downside and the dark side of business, whether you're in entertainment, whether you're in whatever you're in, lawsuits and legal battles. How did you get into a legal battle to the extent that you can share? Because I know the case is over now. Yeah, I can share everything, yeah. you know? I would say a legal battle is something that I would not recommend to anyone because it's long, it's strenuous, mm -hmm. uh, it's testing, and it, it's a big time waster. But I found it very entertaining and interesting interesting to be completely honest you know I uh, in another life I probably would have been an attorney or something so I think uh, learning firsthand how something like that takes place was a, a lot of fun yeah yeah it's gonna happen <laughs> it's taking right around Josh and especially in a, a lawsuit with a an individual like Dame Dash who's very arrogant and outspoken justify that Damon Come in the court. Let us talk. I'm trying you. your business, Boogie. To be quiet, Damon. Don't talk to me. Damon. I'm telling you, let her talk. You, Damon, you ask you her a question. You always do that. But you but jumping you, in it. Mind your business. When? You guys aren't hearing each other. Yeah. But you still you can't talking. Mind your business. Talk. I actually could have answered if you didn't say nothing. Damon, you can't even speak. You can't even speak for yourself. Who can talk? Mind your business, Damon. I'm just asking. Why is it all right, Damon? Yeah, now get out of here. Sit down or I'm leaving. Wait, don't talk to me like Sit down or I'm leaving. Come on, so leave. sit down. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. Sit down. Damon. Get out. Stupid. That's stupid. I don't care. Care. That's not a father. Family, family, never, not family, no matter what, never goes against family. So stop we going against You're a clown. That. You're both clowns. Y'all just, do you know what? Just go sure away. Get out. Uh, makes it quite entertaining through every process, you know, just certain situations or mediation, you know, he's an yeah. off the wall type yeah. of character. So yeah. it's, it's, it's comedy and it's yeah. entertaining. It's not going to go anywhere in court. <laughs> Do you make mistakes? I just got him there. He made a mistake. He's a clown. Yeah, we're going to get him on a technicality. He won't be able to come because of a warrant. So I'll do it in New York. And now I'm right in front of you. You're sweating like a clown. Scared. Look at you all mumbly. Look at you Dame, jittery. Dame, Look at you jittery. Dame, Dame, please. But yeah, essentially, you know, we fired him publicly as part of like a press release a year prior to the lawsuit. And, and as we were gearing towards the release, we found out that he was trying to solicit distributors for the movie under a different title. Oh, he was trying to solicit. He was trying yeah. to sell the movie as if he had ownership yeah. rights over the movie, yeah. trying to do some sort of back deal of some yeah. sort. And that's originally what sparked the potential of a lawsuit because an attorney friend of ours was basically saying, look, you got to stop this guy legally or else your your film's going to get tied up, right? Sure. And you have to kind of draw the line in a way. And then, and then we had some words back and forth. So we're going to go to court and, and look, and Josh, Josh, the thing is, now, Josh, we're going to go to court. Maybe it can, it can... That's what I... Josh, Josh, that's what I say. Josh, Josh, go to your lawyer. Because your, your lawyer's a fool, right? He's going to get you all jammed up. But... And you guys are making big, big mistakes. But <coughs> go to your lawyer. Ask Chris. Listen, listen. <coughs> we'll see. We'll see. You guys haven't been to court, obviously. You've never been in a deposition where you're going to have to be honest. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Because he was taken back by how ultimately our dealings took place. I think he thought that the laurels of the film rested primarily on his shoulder and that if if he wasn't involved in the film anymore, that the film would not succeed or it wouldn't release. And it's just not the case, right? He's Yes, he's a, a celebrity and he has uh, some draw, but he is... Uh, by no means is anyone a singular individual to any film because uh, you're creating a piece of art. But I think he took offense to the fact that his name was entirely cut out of the picture. And he used that as some sort of like personal approach towards me to try and slander my name and say a bunch of things that were completely inaccurate. And so we pursued him for copyright infringement and defamation. Yeah. And then you won, obviously. Yeah. It was a fun trial to go through. Go in there. 
basically got a tongue lashing for the judge because I was disrespecting the lawyer, Chris Brown, at a deposition. You know, he had so many outbursts, you know. He's just a maniac individual. Man, you got this me? Okay, you so already lied to me as long as enough to be able but to But you listen. lied already. So if it's a lying relationship, Nigga, you shouldn't be in. You right, but we, we started. Be. You ain't gonna waste my we time. shouldn't be in. So I think, but sometimes a good lesson here is on the surface, things like that can look super cool. We got Dame Dash, he was his legendary background with Jay-Z, blah, blah, blah. But then you realize like you actually didn't need him in that situation and it ended up causing more of a headache. I think people can learn from that, that sometimes what seems like the coolest and the best thing is actually maybe not. Yeah, so so there's a nostalgia to Dame Dash, right? Yeah. Where those who know him have this idea of who he is in person or who he would be to work with, uh, which is truly not the case, right? He comes off really well in interviews and, and from a general perspective, like looking in and knowing who he was, being excited genuinely to work with him. But he's very uh, arrogant, disrespectful, huge bravado and, and attitude to certain things. And that's just not how people conduct themselves in the real world, right? Yeah. That's not how people want to work with other people, you know, so. Well, I'm asking a question, everybody's looking dumb in the face. So what was we doing? What was we talking about in the term of the day? Let me know. Why don't you just call the meeting? Why? Because you know what it's like. Why? Demon, no one needs Why? Who cares? Why? We all here. Why now you want to call a meeting? Because you know no one needs to sit down. No one. You're so to get the fuck out. I don't give a you fuck. Know? Then get out. This is not about you. We're going to do no, something about Jay. We're going to do it together. Obviously, all right, then. But why you didn't call me? I think the lesson to be taken from that is, you know, in any business or in any business endeavor, you can view somebody as being a huge stepping stone or benefit to any company or any project. But if that person's attitude is wrong or their mindset or demeanor, in a lot of ways, it can hurt you. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to get out of that alive. You were able to, you know, because it was fun. People, yeah, it was great. If it was somebody who was boring, maybe it would have yeah. sucked. <laughs> yeah, but he was entertaining. Yeah, but I look good, though, so it doesn't matter. It was entertaining for sure, especially yeah. knowing who he is as a person. And like, yeah. it sounds like I followed the case, like everything that I've seen about him is, just seems like what the, you know, it's interesting. He's a funny guy, yeah. man. He's yeah. a funny guy. It is. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Josh. Yeah. And listen, I, I wish him the best. Sure. I wish him success. You know, I know. Uh, yeah, no animosity. I mean, yeah, yeah, no animosity yeah, in any yeah. which way, yeah. you know, like I just, it just, things didn't really work yeah. out. And unfortunately, I think he had done that many a times through his career sure. and people uh, did not take a stance to fight back. Yeah. Uh, you you know, dumb, dumb. people were like, oh man, okay, I'm just gonna let this guy do this to me or something like that. And ultimately, you know, in life, you know, if you conduct yourself in a certain manner, eventually you're gonna run into somebody sure. who's gonna say, hey. Yeah, no, I'm not taking yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.